Hey everybody out there in YouTube land. Today we are going to make a spinner for the Nakajima Rufi and uh, you can see that there's a lovely vacuum formed plastic part that's going to go right there. Uh, but I would like to attach this to a UMX propeller. There. So what I'd like to do is make a foam insert uh, for this and I'm going to seat this into the foam insert. Uh, much the same way that the usual UMX propellers have a uh, an insert that's made out of uh, very soft flexible foam rubber and that goes on the propeller like so. Uh, but we don't want that. We want to have something that looks like a Nakajima roofy float plane. So uh, I thought since I had to make this anyway, I would show you all how to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to make it out of standard piece of styrofoam. Uh, so let's just get the plans out of the way here for a second so we can work in peace. Uh, here's the model, by the way. You can take a look at that. This is something that I uh, have been working on for about a month and a half, uh, two months or so, maybe. And I plan to fly this tomorrow on its maiden voyage. Uh, let's just get this out of the way. And we will get our piece of styrofoam. That's just a normal piece of very dense styrofoam uh, packing material. Uh, and we need to cut that, first of all, into a piece that we can use. Something roughly... Just a little bit longer than what we need. Nice sharp knife. And now what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to a rotary tool uh, so that I can spin it like a, a lathe. Um, so we're going to get some glue and we're going to attach that. So I've got some foam tack, which is wonderful for attaching foam to anything. Uh, and it I'll just spread some of that on here. Nice coating. And then we'll attach this like that. And just let that let that dry. That's gonna take a little while to dry. Okay, so now we're just going to trim this down just a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to make it a little less square because my stock started off as being square. And, uh, let's see if I can cut that in front of the camera. Does that help? All right. And maybe we can get a little zoom on there. Does that help? I don't know. I'm not good at this YouTube stuff yet. Uh, so we're just going to trim this all around. So it's a little... Now when you see when I when I rotate it, And you just keep going till you have the shape that you want, but that's the basic idea. And you just keep working with the sandpaper and the power tool, shaping as you go, using slower speeds and less pressure until you get just the shape that you want. The next step is to use an X-Acto blade to cut a channel so that you can seat the propeller into the styrofoam spinner, matching the channels that I already cut in the plastic spinner. And when I put it all together, I had a nice snug fit. 
I honestly could have just painted the uh, styrofoam spinner silver if I wanted to. But for this model, I'm really trying to get a scale appearance and I want to use the plastic part that came with the kit, which I had already painted and clear coated. So now I took it all apart and I glued the styrofoam spinner onto the actual propeller on the plane. And then a little foam tack on that styrofoam spinner was applied. And I just slipped the scale vacuum formed spinner over the styrofoam plug and set the model aside and let the glue thoroughly dry. Okay, now it's been drying for a while, so let's test it out. Nice, I think that looks pretty good. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you later.